Hi! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chumi. I make videos every week to add value to you as I do to myself. Today's video is very unlike me. It's a haul video that I'm coming back to you with. I usually don't do haul videos at all, but now I've had two haul videos on my channel back to back. Last week, I did a Sheen haul video where I bought some nursing friendly clothes and this week, I've got some baby clothes to show you and it's from Pat Pat. My son is now two months old and I wanted to get some nice summer clothes for him. When he was first born, I only bought long sleeve and long body suits because with newborn babies, you need to try and keep them as warm as possible so I didn't buy any short sleeves whatsoever at all. When I was looking around I found a lot of clothes quite expensive. I usually buy all of his clothes from Marks & Spencer, H&M, Gap and Next. These are the only four places that I've bought his clothes so far and I didn't really buy anything online. I have not seen anything online at all before but with this pad pad there's just ads everywhere on Facebook, on Instagram, on websites just paid ads everywhere and I thought I'd just give it a go because with baby's clothes they grow out of it so quickly the maximum you can ever use something for them is three months maybe four months that's it and then it's either out the window or in storage keeping for your next child or you know handing it down to someone else since baby's clothes does not necessarily need to be long lasting I didn't want to spend too much money on it so I wanted to give Pat Pat a go and I've got quite a few things. I've got all of these things on my lap here now. I'll just share it with you and show you what I've bought and see what you think for yourself. All of the clothes that I got from your zero to three months at the moment, I looked at all of the measurements on the website itself and I thought it will be suitable for him but I think the size and the material is a little bit hit and miss. I'll put the price for you on the screen and I'll probably include a screenshot as well. The first one I got for him is a three-piece set. It comes in a vest like this. It says a mini boss. It's in um, navy blue and then it's got a grey t-shirt like this and a shirt. This is a t-shirt material. Um, this one is slightly different though. I think it will shrink when I wash it. But these two are the regular bodysuit material that you would get from any shop outside. The next one is another vest. This is a short sleeve vest. It's a ripped material and it's got this bow tie. It looked really, really cute in the picture with the bow tie. But when I look at it in person, I think that bow tie is a little bit odd. So I might want to remove that, but I'll see how it looks like when I put it on him. This is a short sleeve and shorts kind of a bodysuit. It's got collar print on it. The material is not all that great on this and I think the size is slightly bigger but it's meant for summer so I'm hoping that it will look really nice. The weather at the moment is quite chilly but I'm hoping that we will get warm in the next couple of weeks and I'll be able to put it on for him. This one is another short sleeve and shorts kind of a bodysuit. It's a ripped material, it's got nice details over here. I like the contrast colour in this, it looks really nice and I like the ripped material also. It's kind of stretchy and it feels like it will last long. It doesn't look like the color will run or it will shrink in the wash. This one looked really, really cute in the picture on the website. It doesn't look all that great while I'm holding this here. Um, it's a one-piece short sleeve, short kind of uh, bodysuit also. It's got button details here. And then it's got this bow tie that you can remove, but the rest of it is just one piece, so you don't have the hassle of taking everything off. So should you need to change your nappy, you just unbuckle it in the bottom here, and that's all. Um, I think it will look okay when I put it on, but I don't know, it's just like a squarey thing. He's a baby, he doesn't really need so much shape or anything, does he? As long as it fits him, as long as it's comfortable for him, I think that should be fine. This is a long sleeve, full leg bodysuit. It's not necessarily for summer, but Lakshman's got a shirt like this with this kind of collar. So I wanted to kind of match it. The material is quite nice. It's a nice t-shirt material and it's entirely one piece. It's got buttons in the bottom here. It's got poppers here that you can use to change nappy. It's a smart casual kind of a thing. The last piece of clothing that I bought is another bodysuit. This is short sleeve, short kind of a bodysuit. It's got this nice giraffe detail by the pocket and also at the back of it. This is the only one that has buttons like this but it's got poppers in the bottom here. This one is somewhat like a denim material but it's quite loose and airy but it looks much bigger than everything else. This is a zero to three month size however 
the sizing is very different from the other clothes that I got. It looks like he'll only be able to wear it when he's like five or six months maybe. But the material is nice and it looks really unique. Those were all the clothes that I got for him. I also bought a couple of pairs of shoes. Now I was one of those people that didn't want to buy any shoes at all for a newborn baby. I wasn't going to buy any shoes until he was like six or seven months. But I saw this Converse for babies online. It was an ad that came across and it was 32 pounds. It was so stinking cute. White pair of Converse and it looked exactly like mine and Lakshman's. And I really wanted to buy it. I was so close to buying it. And then I saw a couple of pairs of shoes on Pad Pad, like this one for example. It's obviously not original Converse at all, but it's got the design that looks exactly like Converse. And this is baby, it just says baby here. And it's got that star there, but it looks just like the original Converse. Shoes for young babies like Levi is not for walking purpose at all, so it doesn't have to be comfortable. It's only to tie the entire outfit together and to keep his feet warm. Levi's got really cool feet, so I want to try and put on socks or even shoes for him where possible so he doesn't get really cold. And I like to buy shoes for men. I always buy a lot of different pairs of shoes for Lakshman. Those are the kind of accessories that looks really good on men. You know, you can't really buy so much for them other than shirts. And, and shoes, can you? It's super huge, so he's not gonna be able to wear it now at all, but I'm just gonna keep it for when he can wear it. This is another pair of shoes that I got for him. It's lace also, and there you go. That's a lace that you tie it up. Um, it's got this basketball here, and this non-slip back, but he's not gonna be walking in this, obviously. It really pops and it looks super cute. I think it's gonna look really nice on children. And the other two pair of shoes that I got for him is a slip-on type. It's just two different colors. It looks very, very similar. Um, this one doesn't have a non-slip back, but this one has a non-slip sole. This one is elasticated over here. So it's easy to stretch it when you want to put it on and take it off. This one is smaller than the white, converse-like. And this pair of shoes has this velcro strap here, so you can take it off, put it on, and put it back on. It's easy to use. This one has a non-slip sole. All of the shoes are brand new, all of the clothes are brand new. I kind of messed up with this tag over here. I was taking off all of the um, sizes and some stickers that they had on here, and I thought this one was removable also, so I kind of forced it out and I messed it up. But it's meant to stay on, like this one over here, see? There's a tag here with the size and some description, so you need to keep it. If you ever buy shoes from Pad Pad, remember to not peel off that thing because you'll mess it up. I also bought two items which is non-clothing items. This is a nappy bag. It's meant to be for wet nappies, you know. When you have reusable nappies, you want to save it and bring it back home and clean it. You're meant to put it in here because it's leak-proof and waterproof. But I wanted to buy this to put in nappies for my changing bag. Because in my changing bag, I've compartmentalized a lot of things by using Ziploc bags and different pouches because I want to differentiate everything rather than dumping everything in one section. So I wanted to put nappies in here, but I think it's a bit too big to go into that. Uh, probably re use it for something else. And the final item that I bought is a reusable nappy. I use Aldi nappy for Levi. I don't use any reusable nappies at all. However, I wanted to give him some nappy free time and I was trying to think how to do that. Him being a boy, it's a bit difficult to let him loose without any nappies or without any covering at all because I didn't want his feet to get all over the place, especially over him or over his face, you know. You never know where he aims. Um, he has no control over it and I, neither do I. So I was thinking of what to do and I thought about this reusable nappies. It's quite nice. The material inside is a soft bamboo cottony material. No, it's not cotton, it's some soft bamboo material. And the one outside is waterproof. You've also got elastic here and you've got a compartment where you can put the insets. If you were to use uh, reusable nappies, you would put in like an inset or a slip inside, you know, to kind of hold everything in together. There are quite a lot of poppers around here that you can use according to the right size. And this elastic over here looks like it will be quite handy. And I feel like this is going to work to be able to give him some nappy free time. I can just put this on loosely and then you know let him lie around and play around or even put it on when I'm giving him his oil massage so you'll have some air to breathe. Those are all the things that I bought from Pat Pat. The quality is 
questionable for some of it but like I said they're newborn babies they're very very young babies you don't really need amazing quality you don't need branded stuff for them at all because they will outgrow it within three or four months maximum I originally wanted to buy a couple of bodysuits and multi-pack but Pat Pat is not the place if that's what you want to buy. If you're looking for full bodysuits or multi-packs where you get more value for your money then Pat Pat is not the place at all. I feel like it's more of occasion wear and matching wear. They have a lot of matching family sets and things like that and I've not really looked into those at all. Now I spent £44.47 and pence for all of these items and I was charged £1.42 and pence for non-sterling pound transaction which is less than £50 for 13 items and I think that's really really reasonable. Um, they do have a return and exchange policy but I don't think it's very convenient but then again for the price of it and for how long it's going to last I don't think it's really worth returning or paying for its return. So that's about it for today's haul. I hope you found it useful. If you have been thinking about Pad Pad, I'm sure you would have come across the ad many times now. But if you're skeptical about it, it's questionable. However, it's worth the money because it's really, really cheap compared to what you would get in High Street. And it's a one-off thing, so there's a fair trade there. Um, I hope you give it a go and I hope you like it as well. When I use these clothes on Levi, I'll probably share pictures on Instagram. So remember to follow me on Instagram and remember to subscribe for this video as well. And leave a comment for me if you have any questions. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!